is good everybody and Merry Christmas to everyone out there checking out the video. Today is actually Christmas Day so a huge Merry Christmas to everyone out there whether you're celebrating with family, friends or just chilling by yourself. Whatever the case is man I hope you guys have a blessed holiday, you have a blessed Christmas and I hope the best for you man. I hope that you have just a magnificent time around this time. Everybody deserves a nice little break. Enjoy yourself, indulge in the foods, in the stuff and most importantly in the figures right and oh my god in heaven Brad what do we have in front of my face? WWE we Elite Series 91 arrived at my doorstep yesterday from Ringside Collectibles. Huge shout out to them, man. You guys know the number one sponsor of the channel, RingsideCollectiblesWrestlingFigures.com, where you can grab these figures as well as many, many other wrestling action figures. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% so that all your figures make it by holidays. Don't use code free ship where it takes them, they, they send it by horse and carriage, I'm pretty sure, and the free shipping option just isn't good, man. But holy ish, man, we finally don't have to wait any longer for the Tiger Stripes Rob Van Dam here in the flesh. It is so beautiful in person. I cannot wait to crack him out of the packaging. We also have a beautiful looking Hulk Hogan over here that a lot of people are excited about. So without further ado, man, we're just going to dive into it. As you guys can see, you have the beautiful figures right here. Images of them here. I love the images they're using on the front of the packaging here. I love the expression from RBD. He's like, what, dude? I'm just a regular guy. Chilling kind of reminds me of Steve-O or something. Hulk Hogan over here. Got the boa. Got the bandana and the glasses, of course. As we spin it to the side you do have the same image on the side on the back you get a beautiful image of the men here got some bio read if you like to read it you can pause it right now rest of the figures in the wave their names on the other side you got the elite logo down there and that pretty much chops it up for our wwe elite series 91 packaging now you guys can let me know down in the comment section below if these guys should be included in the top 10 figures of the year should this be included in the top 10 wwe elites of the year i don't know you guys can be the judges down in the comment section i think i included Included Elite 82 last year. This is Elite 91, so we got about nine series through. I would imagine by the time we reach Christmas next year, it will be Elite Series 100 time. But without further ado, man, I'm gonna not waste any more of your time. If you guys are stopping by during your Christmas holiday, I really appreciate it. Spending some Christmas time with MDT is always magnificent. But here is the figures, man. They look incredible. Let's crack them out of their packaging and see what these guys are all about. And here's Elite Series 91, Rob Van Dam and Hulk Hogan out of their packaging, man. A lot of very interesting analyzations and uh, things I've discovered about these figures that I'm excited to get into with you. Some bad, some good, some in between, you know. We, we're going to break down all the things. You guys know how the WWE Elite figure reviews work. This is a two-in-one, so what we're going to do first is dive into Hulk Hogan's accessories and Hulk Hogan. Then we will dive into RVD's accessories and RVD. But uh, these figures feel fantastic in the hand, man. I, I mean, like the quality of the Mattel product has certainly improved and it just gets better and better with these WWE elites man these are some of these figures where you know I think I said it in my video yesterday where the WWE elites can literally rival the WWE ultimate edition and sometimes they can even defeat them in a one-on-one -on -one scenario man they can go through the lane crossover slam it on somebody's skull and I would not be shocked if some of you found some of these brand new elites to be better than the ultimates but with all that being said man let's shut the hell up and dive into Hulk Hogan's accessories so for Hulk Hogan's accessories, man, this is insanity, man. They are always giving Hulk Hogan all the stuff, right? I mean, literally, if that shirt was cloth, this could be an ultimate addition with all these accessories that you're getting. So, I mean, you guys can just uh, analyze what you have going on in front of you. It looks like a lot of the budget went into this figure right here for the way, but I'm not complaining. Uh, again, I'm not the biggest Hulk Hogan fan. I was never like a massive Hulk Hogan guy, but I always loved his action figures, and I always loved kind of like the characterization of it. I, I do love his figures. Figures, and this is just an example of that. It's just really cool. So as we dive into it, man, let's start off with the shirt that you get. And I am not a Hulk Hogan connoisseur. I do have a lot of friends that are Hulk Hogan connoisseurs, so they can let me know down in the comment section below. Hit me up on Instagram. Tell me what you guys think. You have the Hulkamania logo on the front there in the black and yellow. You have the silhouette of Hulk Hogan's face right there. I do believe we've seen the shirt mold many times before. It is a rubber shirt, you know, and it has the rip gimmick in the middle. Even though if you were to tear your shirt in half, it would not rip down the middle like that. You know, it's not going to look like a piece of clay, but that's not the biggest deal. You do get some nice details like right here on the edges and on the back with the shirt rip. So that's pretty cool right there. I'll show the, what this looks like on the figure later on in the video. We also have the weight belt accessory. Now you guys are immediately going to notice that mine has a paint chip on the O right there. And that makes me sick unless 
it's supposed to be like that, I highly doubt it. But that makes me sick right there. And my boy Mac Decals is always complaining that the weight belt mold is never accurate and they always use the same weight belt mo mold even though it's different. So he can let me know down below if they've even fixed it or if it's the exact same. I can't tell the difference. You know, again, I'm not like big on details about the Hulk Hogan figure. So you guys can let me know down below. But yeah, Hollywood right there in the yellow and red synonymous with Hulk Hogan. We also have his bandana accessory. And on the front, it does say Hulkamania right there. I feel like it gets a, a bit messy compared to the, uh, you know, the logo on the shirt. I feel like the one on the shirt doesn't look as like stretched out. It kind of looks like it's stretched right here, which I guess it is a bandana. But on the back of the packaging, it's a lot cleaner and it's not as like thin. It's actually, it looks like how it does on the shirt. So I don't know what's up with that, but we've seen this mold multiple times in the past. Ultimate Editions, Elites, we've seen it multiple, multiple times. We also have his sunglasses and they're a nice red color. You got the red sunglasses with the black shades in there. And if you guys wanted to see this on the figure, just stick it on there like that. I feel like the sunglasses do fit the Hulk Hogan well. So there is that. So you can just plop that on there and then you can take the bandana, plop that on there. And then they wonderfully fit your Hulk Hogan action figure. And it's sick, you know, and it, it looks like Hulk Hogan. He's got his handlebar going. He's, he's looking pretty freaking fantastic. Now, outside of those accessories, you also get a dual boa. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've seen this mold. I want to say they did it a little bit differently with the Ultimate Editions and things like that. One thing I noticed is I thought it was just two separate pieces, but they actually like glued it right here together. You guys can see here like it's kind of tearing right there. You guys can see that dried glue in the middle. So you get one yellow boa, one red boa, and I mean, they're okay. I never was a big fan of the boas. You know, I know he wore them, but I, I, I didn't never like it. But you know, they look good. I like the sculpt to them. I feel like when you get into the Storm Collectible side of it and they, they turn into like cloth or feathery, I, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of weak sauce. They need to figure out how, maybe a happy medium, but I don't mind the plastic slash rubber. Works out okay, but I'm not going to separate mine. I'm going to keep mine in one piece there. So it looks a bit odd altogether, but it'll look good on your displays. Now, outside of that, you do get interchangeable fisted hands, which are always good. Shout out Kyle Peterson. You got Mike holding hands for him to come out and cut a promo on you, brother. And then you have more of his, you know, listening to the crowd or pump up or Python pose. Or, or whatever the hell you want to say. What you gonna do, brother? Handshake, ricochet, Kawhi Leonard hands. Now, getting into Hulk Hogan himself, man, starting out with the head sculpt. This is not a new head sculpt. We've seen this head sculpt multiple times. It's got a nice, awkward smile going right there. I feel like my left eye right here, the right eye compared to you guys. Are you guys looking at it? Looks like it may be a misprinted or mispainted there, but this reminds me of those old cartoony head sculpts. It would have been really cool to see some of those Ultimate Edition head sculpts in here repainted or resculpted or, or just give us some of that stuff. However, you know, it does look like Hulk Hogan. If you put the sunglasses and the bandana and the boa and the shirt, it will really, you won't even notice it right it'll just look like Hulk Hogan smiling which gets the job done but this is a reuse of a head sculpt it does have the interchangeability where you can pop it off easily if you want to put on one of your ultimate edition heads or do something like that the Hollywood Hulk Hogan head is what I have and so I don't have the new ultimate edition just yet should be arriving soon and we will do a review on the channel but it has the dark beard on there which wouldn't be accurate to this exact moment so I'm not going to put that on there at this moment but going down into the torso this is the torso that they gave his Hall of Fame figure. And so this was not really a, a era where Hulk Hogan looked like this. You know, he was kind of more overweight. He still had the muscles. Don't get me wrong. He still had the muscles. So I love the shoulders and the arms that they used here. They used the Ultimate Edition arms. And one thing you'll notice when you get the figure in hand is that the shoulders are very, very tight. I wish every single WWE Mattel Elite and Ultimate Edition had sh tight shoulders like this, but I'm guessing it's because they used this older style torso and this like smaller stature torso with these bigger arms and shoulders and so it creates a really tight fit like it's a really snug fit and it's actually somewhat hard to turn in some cases but it it like kind of creates like this really nice quality to the figure where it just feels super nice you don't feel like it's going to get loose on you and that is really nice he, he does have double jointed pinless joints which are beautiful to see but i really do love these like sculpted shoulders we kind of saw these in the ultimate edition line we've seen them on the new elites you know the bobby lashley comes to mind i want to say this is ultimate edition hulk hogan arms and shoulders so it works out great white wrist tape. Now this is where I have sort of a problem with the figure. You guys will notice with this torso you get this massive gap right here on the crotch piece where it connects to it and I mean if you put the weight belt on there it will take away from it. You won't notice it as much but also his tights I just don't really like the details. This is supposed to be like the airbrush pattern where you have the yellows and the reds and the oranges kind of all mixing together creating these light tones but to me it just looks like they 
took red tights and they just slapped yellow on it. It doesn't really have that nice look to it. I feel like if they did maybe the Kenny Omega Unmatched Series 1 technology where they like screen printed a picture of the tights onto it on the front and back, I feel like that would have really, really captured everything about it. I don't know if they can do that in the future, but I think that would be a really nice way to get those details of the airbrush designs onto the tights. If we move down into the knee pads, he does have the red knee pads and the lower legs don't have any yellow on them whatsoever, which I feel like is kind of shishy because you go from this like heavy yellow and red into just solid red for a section and then back down into the boots, which are a beautiful touch. And he does have the nice knee brace on there, which is accurate to the time. And uh, they, they just put all the bells and whistles on this figure, man. Like, don't get me wrong. It's missing some things, but at the end of the day, they added a ton to it. You got the red boots. You have the yellow flames going on. You have the beautiful airbrush design of Hulk Hogan right there. I don't know if that's accurate or not with the yellow bandana on the boots. Somebody will have to let me know, but that is a, it looks like they used a legitimate picture of the boots and slapped it on there. Wish they could have done that for the tights because this looks really official. It looks airbrushed on. It looks like the official boot logos. So to do that, I wish they would have done that with the tights, but damn, I like, I like the figure. I like the way it feels and everything like that. Now, as far as like accuracies and things like that, I couldn't tell you again. I haven't studied up on it enough, but if you guys want to get into some comparisons, a lot of people think that he's too tall. A lot of people think that he's like nine foot tall or something, and that's not what I'm getting. So if you take the Ultimate Edition and you put them right up next to each other, they're the exact same height. So the only way you would think that this figure is nine foot tall is if you've always believed that the Ultimate Edition was nine feet tall. And you know, if that's what you think, that's what you think. But I think that the height is pretty, you know, it scales well. I think the formulas and stuff like that scale pretty well. Now this one it may be a touch taller than the Survivor Series, but when you, you know, you line it up against similar eras or not as far apart eras, they're pretty, I think they scale well, you know, they, they scale pretty well. It is kind of a wacky formula and stuff, but you put the shirt on there or something, you're, you're not going to notice it. But I think if they use maybe the Elite 34 torso, it would have been more accurate to this time. But if they use this exact formula from the waist down with that torso, he would have been gigantic for sure because that torso is taller than this torso. Maybe that's why they decided to go that way. I don't know. But yeah, that does it for your Hulk Hogan figure comparisons. You have the Survivor Series Elite over here and the Ultimate Edition. And I still love the Ultimate Edition. It's undefeated right now for me as far as Hulk Hogan action figures go. So for RVD's accessories, you do not get near the plethora of accessories that you get with Hulk Hogan, but this is my favorite accessories right here. And typically, interchangeable hands are not my deal, man, but the thumbs up slash RVD pose for the Rob Van Dam signature line is just wonderful. We've been waiting on this. I love that they actually gave him a black peg for his hand. That way you don't get that skin tone seeping through. I think they did a great job on this mold. I think it looks like his hands are taped up and everything, and it rolls off nice. Like, we don't have any stupid, idiot, dumb moron things happening with it. They actually did it right. They got the black peg. They actually painted it correctly. It's not like KO hand tape. It's signature RVD hand tape. That's how he always taped his hands. Beautiful. Looks fantastic. Speaking of which, we also have mic holding hands, which represent it perfectly again. They did an excellent job here. I love that. Skin's showing through. Black pegs in the hands. You can't ask for more than that. Now, as far as his accessory, we do get a silver steel chair for Van Daminators, for Van Terminators, for damn get the hell out of here. It does look weird. It looks like it almost has a dent right here, which is kind of odd, but you do get the WWE logo right there. It would have been cool to see maybe the scratch WWE logo because that's what the era of this RVD represents. So this figure is a flashback figure and it just encapsulates everything Rob Van Dam. But, you know, I get it. You know, you, you got the foldable chair right there. It does, it's operational. It's a nice silver color. I don't think we've ever seen a chair this color in the main Elite line like this in this like flat silver look, but it looks really nice. But that pretty much adds up RVD's accessories. And now diving into the more talented performer of the two. That's just a joke, but I'm dead ass serious. We have RVD, man, and this is a repeat head sculpt. So both of these guys do not have new true effects technology head sculpts, which is kind of bummerific, you know? I don't know why they did that. I don't know if they couldn't get them both in for a scan. I don't know if they don't have the technology to scan these guys. I don't know what the deal is, man, but this is a good head sculpt. They went with the better head sculpt. This is the best RVD head sculpt that they've made because it is a re-release of the basic one, which we'll see in the comparison videos. But you guys can see here, you got the ponytail, you got the nice fade on the sides there. I like the head sculpt. I just wish it was true effects. I'd really like to see a nice printed on five o'clock shadow, you know, have all the nice RVD smirking going on or something like that. But I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's really cool. Now, this is the meat and potatoes that we have been waiting for. I've been waiting on this figure for so long, man. Good God in heaven. So we have the Tiger Stripes gear. Personally, my favorite RVD gear of all time. He's one of my favorite performers in the ring of all time. And RVD is just, this is just beautiful, man. This nostalgia that's coming through with this figure. Nostalgia drives, nostalgia sells, and this one is going to fly off the shelves. Everybody loves this gear. I think it's a, a gear that everybody really loves. The only complaint I have about the color with it is it kind of looks a little peachy tone, like a little bit orange cream 
soda color instead of the actual color that it was, but I still love it. I love the black stripes. The skull design looks good. It looks incredible. I'd say it looks maybe better on camera than it's coming across in real life. However, it still looks really good on the side. You do have the signature Mr. Pay-Per-View on the side. I actually do have the shorts from Chalkline Official that uh, is in the Tiger Stripes gear that I wear when I hoop, so that's beautiful to see. You got RVD down the back. Beautiful details going on. Again, if you took the gear and you did the string print technology that they did on the AEW and Match Kenny Omega, I feel like these gears would look so much better than just like the kind of like painted on their factory look. You know what I'm saying? But I love the Tiger Stripes. I think they look great. Double jointed arms that are pinless. You even get the bicep vein, which is like RVD's always had nice sized muscular arms. So I think this really captures that. You don't get the like just flat jabby arms. You get like some nice musculature going on. You got the black hand tape. You got the Nike Pro Combat undershorts or slide protector or girdle underneath, which is synonymous. You do have the gigantic knee pads, which will be switched out on action figure surgery, but it is, you know, accurate. He did wear the bigger knee pads most of the time. Got the black kick pads with the white Van Dams down the side. Now, my favorite kick pads that he had were the ones that had Van Dam in like a smaller font in the yellow, similar to Chris Jericho's, but these will do. Not really gonna, you know, fault it. Still looks pretty nice. Like the kick pad mold that we got going on. And this figure is just fantastic, man. Holy crap. It's just, it's, it, it's insane. I love it. It's everything I thought it would be. And I'm just glad to finally have this in the collection. Now, again, I just gotta get off my lazy ass, film some pic feds so that we can use these figures and see the articulation in action. But for your action figure comparisons for RVD, here is our last RVD and only RVD. We only have two RVDs. Only two, not three of them. Only two RVDs that we're getting. We're not getting a third RVD. This is the second one that we got. Not a third one coming. Now you guys can see in the head sculpts, they are the exact same head sculpt, just kind of painted a little bit differently. Low key, kind of feel like this one's a tad better. I don't know, you guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section below, but you guys can see here, he has the smaller knee pads, which I will get to do on surgery, but damn, bro, this is impressive. I love seeing these RVD figures. It's been a really long time. Hopefully this means we'll get even more RVDs, but Jesus Christ, this figure hits me right right in the nostalgia freaking heart and this is beautiful love the rvd uh i do want to do some articulation real quick not like a ton of it but it is nice to see you know ab crunch you get the nice shoulder here you get the double jointed arm so you can do the freaking rvd pose you used to have to do all kinds of ish to get this now he can literally just knock his own eye socket out with his thumb which is beautiful to see the legs are not stiff i say they feel really good but you do want to be careful since it is pine cone joints he is not on ball joints so you want to be careful when posing him around I, I, I assure you, this is a figure I'll have a bunch of, so can't wait to get into the customs and stuff, but damn, bro, what a freaking excellent figure. Merry Christmas to me. But that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 Elite Series 91 Rob Van Dam and Hulk Hogan review, man. Oh my God, what, what great figures for Christmas, man. Another Merry Christmas to everyone out there. I think these are both absolute pickups, honestly. Like, I, I, I like both of them. I think you get that mid-2000s Hulk Hogan that you could customize. You could fix him up. You could do some different attires if you don't necessarily like this one. Do a couple head swaps. Like, all the problems that I have with it are definitely fixable, and things that you could possibly change around yourself. I don't think that it's too hefty of a bag. It's not, like, too freakishly tall. There's some things that you could really do to, to fix the figure, I believe. And the RVD, it's a no-brainer. It is the best RVD. It is one of my favorite figures in Mattel history. It, it, it rivals some of my favorite figures ever. It may even be up there, man. It's it's that damn good. Tiger stripes gear, double jointed arms, all the different things that we love about RVD, man. It encaptures it. It's just a it's an excellent piece. There's nothing that I could say that uh, is negative about the figure outside of the large knee, knee pads that we could easily fix and that it's a repeat head sculpt. Would have liked a new head sculpt, but it is the best RVD. And the other one is super expensive. This one you can get at Ringside Collectibles using code MD Toys. You like that transition? Go grab these figures right now as well as many, many others man we got tons of reviews coming to the channel elite series 91 we're gonna finish up do a my damn thoughts on it we have ringside exclusive tomaso champa we have dr Britt baker we have top tens coming for the end of the year there is a ton of content coming your way so subscribe and like the video man thank you guys so very much for watching enjoy your holidays i'm getting the hell out of here i gotta go open gifts now and don't cross the line like hulk hogan you know what i'm talking about you cross the line